what is up guys this is cash freak tim from cashfreak.com and today we're talking about how to go paperless with an ipod classic mini or nano on a mac now if you followed any of our other video tutorial series you know but we covered how to do this on a pc on how to do it on a windows machine but i've had a few people contact me and say hey i don't use windows i don't have a pc how do i do this on a mac well good news it's just as easy and i'm going to show you how to do it now to do this you're going to need three things First, you're going to need any old iPod, an iPod Classic, Mini, Nano. If it's got one of the little round, turny wheels, it'll probably work just fine. You're going to need a Mac with iTunes, and you're going to need a program called Mac Caching, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and plug your iPod into your Mac. And the first thing you have to do is select it over here in the left-hand column and scroll all the way to the bottom first thing you need to do is check this box right here that says enable disk use it's going to give you a little warning we're going to click OK and then you need to hit apply so it syncs now this is not checked by default so the first thing you want to make sure you want to go in here and make sure that is checked otherwise the step will not work once you do that and you sync very quick and easy we're going to go ahead and minimize iTunes we're going to head on over to the website for a program called Mac Caching, which is a geocaching application for the Mac. You want to go ahead and download it and install it, and yes, there is a free version. And once you get it downloaded and installed onto your Mac, you can go ahead and open it up. Now I'm going to assume for this tutorial you guys know how to make pocket queries. If you don't know how to do that, head on over to my website, cashfreak.com. I did a video tutorial on how to create pocket queries. Once you have one created, you can go ahead and take the GPX file and drop it into Mac caching. Just literally drag it in the window and let go. It will go ahead, it will import all of your geocaches into the Mac caching program. All right, now once you get all of your geocaches imported into the Mac caching program, what you're going to do is go up to the GPS menu. We're going to go to send data to GPS. Under protocol, we're going to switch it to GPX. And under paperless, we're going to select iPod notes. Once you do that, you can hit OK. And this might take a few minutes if you have a lot of geocaches you're transferring over to the iPod. Once you get this message pop up, it means all of your geocaches have been imported to your iPod. You can go ahead and click OK. And at this point, you are free to eject your iPod. And let's hop over and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here we are at our iPod. And to get to the geocaching info, all we have to do is we want to go to Notes. And if you don't have Notes on your home screen there, you may have to go into Extras first. And then there should be a Notes category. Once you go into notes, you will see all of your geocaches. They're all going to be listed there by GC code. Very easy, all you have to do is select it, and then you're, there's your paperless information. It's got the size, the type of geocache, who placed it, the difficulty, terrain, description, even gives you the logs. So it gives you all that important information you need. Again, this is very easy to do just as easy to do it on a Mac as it was to do it on a PC and every time you want to update the information on the iPod all you have to do is follow the exact same steps I just showed you load a brand new pocket query on import it and there's your info so I hope you guys like this tutorial if you did if you didn't leave me a comment in the comments section and if there's any other video you guys want to see anything you guys want to learn how to do Feel free, just let me know. Head on over to my website, cashfreak.com. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.